Jordan and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing my second ever unhaul video. I said in that last one that this wouldn't be a very regular thing, but here we are only a few short months later. This one is a really good reason. I am moving so I don't want to take books that I don't need with me. You know, the more books I have just means the more I have to pack, transport and unpack and put away. And I just don't really feel like doing that with books that I don't really care about. So I'm gonna get rid of them instead. I have a lot of books in this haul, unhaul. I think several of them may be surprising. I do also have several ARCs from BEA that I am planning to unhaul as well. I might save these for a giveaway of sorts or something. Let's just go ahead and start with those. If you've watched my BEA haul, it's a really overwhelming experience and you just grab things, especially people who are first time BEAers like I was. You just grab whatever's available to you. People shove things in your hands and you just take whatever you can get. First one is Disruption by Jessica Shervington. This came out in October and I remember this being a dystopian novel that had to do with like implantation of chips into people's wrists and they could like track the chips somehow and the information fell into some company's hands and it was very dangerous. That's really all I remember from the synopsis. I'm kind of over dystopian. I've been over dystopian since I finished the Divergent trilogy which was like only the second ever dystopian I had read because Divergent ruined so many things for me about the genre. Don't foresee myself picking this up ever. I'm just gonna give it away. Next I have Gemini by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I already have a finished copy of this. I don't need two. There's nothing special about this one so I'm gonna go ahead and unhaul this as well. Next I have The Other Einstein by Marie Benedict. This is about Albert Einstein's wife and her pursuit in the science community, how she helped Albert in his life. That's really all I know about it. I don't foresee this ever being something I pick up in the near future. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one away as well. I also haven't heard anything about it since its release. When did this come out? October. I haven't heard anything about it, so what does that mean? I don't know. Next I have the Scrooge. Scrooge? Scrooge? by Jennifer A. Nielsen. She's also the author of the False Prince trilogy, which I know people absolutely love. That's kind of what drove me to pick it up in the first place, but I don't even remember what it's about other than it's about a plague and people who have the plague go like live on a special island. I think, I don't remember, haven't heard anybody talk about this since. Even people who read the False Prince trilogy, I haven't heard them read this. I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that one too. Next, I have The Forgetting by Sharon Cameron and she wrote Rook as well. Maybe I've heard like one or two things about this, but but I don't even remember what people said about it. It had to do with people f having memories purged from them every so often, but there's just one girl who remembers everything and that's a problem and that's really all I remember about it. Clearly, it's forgettable, which is ironic since it's about forgetting things. I just don't foresee myself getting to it anytime soon. So I'm not going to keep it. Next I have Invincible Summer by Alice Adams. I actually have a friend who I think would really like this. It's about four people who are really good friends in college and after they graduated, they've gone their separate ways. Life has happened and I think they're reconnecting after 10 or 20 years. I don't remember. I think that my friend would really like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and send this to her. She did just send me a book, although it was a GRE test prep book, which, you know, isn't nearly as fun as this. I'm really into contemporary. I'm not really into adult contemporary. Next I have The Ringmaster's Wife by Kisty Camp, Kisty, <laughs> by Christy Cambrin. And I started this book, I got maybe 120 pages into it and it was just meh. It wasn't bad. It wasn't really good. It didn't hold my attention very well. I got distracted by other things that I was more excited about and I never came back to it. That kind of tells me that I'm never going to come back to it and I should just let it go. So this is about the circus and the Ringling Brothers and one of their wives and how the circus gets started and how this wife was involved in the circus. So it sounds really interesting, especially since like the last big Barnum and Bailey Circus is going out of business. So this is like a historical piece on how that all got started, but I just don't care. And the last of my arcs is Elite by Mercedes Lackey. And I picked this up fully on the cover of the book. It intrigued me, but this is the sequel series and I haven't read the first book and I don't foresee myself ever reading the first book. I don't even know if it's good. I don't know what it's about because I never read the back because I found out it was a sequel and I was like, well, I don't want to read that anymore. But next I have here my stack of books that I'm going to be selling back to the local secondhand bookstore. These books are books that I've read and have not liked. Books that I gave like a meh rating to. I just don't want to keep books that make me feel eh on my shelves anymore. You know, I'm over that. I only want to 
keep books that I really love. These don't qualify and they're going to go. First we're going to start off with Silo by DJ McHale. I've had this book for over two years and it does still sound interesting. I almost purged it the last time I did my unhaul but to be honest I just don't know when I'm going to fit this in. My reading schedule I guess. Not that I have a schedule but I don't know when I'm going to be able to fit this in. There's so many more exciting books that I would rather read over this. The premise does still sound so interesting. What I remember it's about a boy who lives on an island and the island is invaded by things and it's like a science fiction maybe dystopian. I'm not entirely sure but if I really have the urge to read it in the future I think I'm just gonna get it from the library and buy Silo. Next I have two books from the same author and they're both leaving. The first one is Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell and the second one is Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. I didn't really like either of these. They were both like a two and a half to three and a half star depending on the day. They're just like meh books. I wasn't really impressed by either of them. I didn't connect to either of them. I didn't like them. I don't ever see myself rereading them. She's a pretty popular well-known author and I could see other people getting much more enjoyment out of these books than me. Just don't think I like her books that much. The only book I'm keeping that I have of hers is Fangirl and Landline. I haven't read Landline yet so I don't know what I'm gonna think of that one. That is the only adult book of hers that I have. I think I'm done with her YA books. Compared to the buzz and the hype around her, I found these to be really like lackluster. I feel like somebody else would really enjoy these and I just, that's not me. Next I have three books all from the same author but one of the books I don't actually have anymore because I already returned it to Target because I hated it so much that I needed to get it out of my life. That is The Darkest Minds, Passenger, and then I already got rid of Wayfair all by Alexandra Bracken. I am so done with these books. If you haven't been around on my channel, I read Wayfarer in January and I hated it. I just posted a review for it not too long ago. I will link it if you want to check it out. I have struggled with all of her books. Like both of these books I've read and Wayfarer I've read, I struggled with all three of them. Her writing style is really hard for me to get into. I don't connect with it at all. I spend weeks reading these books. I never actually enjoy myself. The payoff at the end is not worth me spending two and a half weeks reading one of these books. I don't want them anymore. I don't like them. I don't want them. Somebody else can have them instead of me. Passenger and Wayfair are a duology about a time traveling young girl who gets swept into 1776 accidentally and is thrust into the middle of this huge plot to find this ancient artifact that could change history and time as we know it. And she knows nothing about any of this and meets a young man and they fall in love and I just did not like this so bye. The Darkest Minds is a dystopian book about kids with superpowers. There was like a plague or an illness and some of the kids died and other ones got superpowers and then they were put in like concentration camps and our main character breaks out of a concentration camp and that's really all they remember about this book and I've read this book one and a half times. I recently tried to reread this via audiobook to see if maybe the writing style is better listened to than it is like read and no I didn't ever finish the audiobook. There's just no hope. I'm not going to finish this trilogy. It's just not going to happen. The concept sounds so interesting. People love this trilogy. People say it's their favorite dystopian. It's not for me and I don't want to keep it anymore. Whew. I did not mean to get so heated about those books. It's just like the feelings for Wayfair just kind of overwhelm everything else. Next I have The Rest of Us Just Live Here by Patrick Ness. I had wanted this book originally because I thought it was about characters who weren't the Chosen Ones living in a Chosen Ones universe. And so we hear about how the Chosen One and his actions or her actions impact all the other people in that world. And while it's about that, that's not like the main point of the book. I've been told it's more of like a social commentary type the story. I don't know if I'm gonna like this since it's not what I thought it was going to be. My expectations of it isn't the reality so I just don't think I'm going to end up enjoying this. I almost unhauled this in my last video too and decided against it and I haven't picked it up since. It's time to let it go. I'm not gonna ever get to it. Next I have Young Avengers Style Over Substance by Gillen and McKelvey. This is the first trade paperback in the Young Marvels series. Young Marvels. <laughs> Young Avengers series. I can read. This wasn't what I expected either. I thought we were going to be following the children of the Avengers, but it's really more of like who are their successors. This wasn't what I was expecting. I really didn't understand the story. I don't really know if comics graphic novel format is for me particularly. Then I had decided to keep this. I was almost going to unhaul it last time because this is like a rare series. And I thought, oh, well, that's really cool. I'm going to keep it. But why? Somebody else would enjoy this a whole lot more than me. Someone who appreciates its rarity and appreciates its content and like collects these things would enjoy this so much more than me. So why am I going to be selfish and keep it just because it's 
cool. I'm not anymore. I don't think I'm going to be continuing with this. It is only a series of three trade paperbacks, but I just don't feel like it. Next, I have three books that I hauled around this time last year, and I'm gonna unhaul them now. <laughs> and they are The Program, Double Duology by Suzanne Young, The Program and The Treatment, which are the first, this is once completed duology. And then there is a prequel duology, which consists of The Remedy and The Epidemic, which I don't have. You know, these sounded really interesting when I first joined booktube. Everyone was talking about them. It has to do with suicide being a plague, I think, an illness. I don't really know anymore. It's a dystopian science fiction, maybe. I don't, I don't honestly no, but I'm not gonna pick these up anytime soon. It's just not gonna happen. I haven't really heard anything about the rest of the series outside of the program, so I'm just gonna go ahead and unhaul all of them because there are other things I'd rather read than this. And lastly, I am unhauling a series that I've had a lot of mixed feelings about, like, do I unhaul this? Do I not unhaul this? I don't know what to do. I am done. I want it gone. And that is the Divergent Trilogy by Veronica Roth. I don't want these anymore. I've hated this series since I finished it in 2013. It was such a disappointment, a letdown. I couldn't believe she betrayed me in that way on several, several levels. I don't want it anymore. So I'm going to give it away Divergent, Insurgent, and the novella Bind Up 4. Now you might be thinking, Jordan, where's Allegiant? That's a really good question. Um, Allegiant is right here. I'm a freaking sentimental idiot. So this was the first book I ever pre-ordered. It's a collector's edition. It's signed. I don't know. I just don't know if I can let go of it. It's the first book I ever pre-ordered. It was my first ever signed copy of a book. I don't know if I can let go of it. I don't know. I kind of want to just because I hate it. Like I hate the colors. I hate the everything about it. I just, it makes me angry just looking at it, but I don't know. Should I give it away? That one I'm on the fence about still. But I am going to be getting rid of these books for sure. I'd cut them for a long time because I really enjoy Divergent. The movies were awful and now they're trying to make a freaking TV show. And I'm just like, what are they doing with these books? Like, just let them go. Let them die. Let them go to the book graveyard. Let the fandom die. Like, we don't need... We don't need it anymore. I kept them for a long time, mostly because of my fondness of Divergent and my sentimentality over Allegiant, but it's just not worth it anymore. I even did try to reread Insurgent when the movie came out and I couldn't get into it. It was really hard for me to read, so it's just gotta go. Get the bad juju out of your life. So as you can tell in the last haul, I was just getting rid of a lot of really old books that I've had for years and years and years and just didn't need anymore. This haul was much more centered around books that I did not like. I don't feel the need to keep books that I didn't like. What is the point? I don't know. I'm sorry if I offended anybody, that wasn't my intention. If there are any other books on my shelves that I read and don't like, you bet I'm gonna be getting rid of them as well because there's no point in keeping books that you don't like. That's my philosophy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, I'll talk to you very soon. Bye! <laughs>